Hi guys, for today's video, I have this look for you. I'm going to be showing you how I do my everyday makeup. I seriously haven't uploaded one of these in like a year and a half. My second video that I ever uploaded on my channel was an everyday makeup tutorial, so it's definitely been a long time, so I figured I would update you guys and show you guys how I'm liking to do my everyday makeup now. My main focus when I do my everyday makeup is definitely my base and like my face, my foundation, my concealer. I wouldn't say that that changes too much um, against like a full beat. I really like to focus on my face and make sure my base is as flawless as I can get it but I like to do a little bit more minimal on my lips and my eyes and do like a little bit of a lighter brow and stuff like that so I know to some of you this might seem like a lot of makeup for a daily basis but I really don't mind getting up like that hour hour and a half earlier to work on my makeup it is just something I love to do overall when it comes to my everyday makeup I definitely just like to go for a little something uh, dewy a little bit something more fresh face I like to add a lot of highlight even though this is just like an everyday makeup look so it's definitely not necessarily a natural look by any means I'm not trying to make it natural this is just what I like to wear on a daily basis if I'm running late or going to class different versions of this look is probably what you'll see me in on most occasions unless I'm filming or going somewhere so I really hope you guys enjoy seeing my video and without further ado let's just get on into my everyday makeup routine Okay, so starting off, I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of skincare, which isn't something that I normally do in my videos, but why not? If you guys want to see like an in-depth skincare routine, definitely let me know. I wouldn't say my skincare routine is really interesting, but I could definitely make a video on that if you guys are interested. So this is the Simple Ultra Light Gel Moisturizer. Super good for my fellow oily girls out there if you want something for daytime. I really, really like this moisturizer. Then for my lips, I just like to prep them with my CO Big Glow Rose Solve and nothing new. You guys know that is just my savior when it comes to my dry and chapped lips. Of course, using my Smashbox Primer Water, going to be spraying that on my face and then just waiting for it to dry. For my primer today, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. I know I'm using a lot of the products that you guys see in a lot of my videos, but of course, this is my everyday makeup routine, so I'm going to be sticking to the basics, what I know, what I love, and just what works for me on a daily basis. So I really like to focus this on the center of my face, especially kind of on my pores and my oily areas, and then I just like to spread it on my cheeks and my forehead and just bring it out more on the perimeter of my face. I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 120 and I'm totally running out of this. I've gone through like six bottles of this is something I just realized. I've never gone through like so much of a product. So definitely a favorite. Definitely recommend it to anyone of any skin type. It is definitely one of the best drugstore foundations out there. For my brush, I showed you guys I'm using the Morphe E6. I just recently, my last video I actually uploaded was all about my favorite makeup brushes. Definitely check that out if you guys want to. I go over all my favorite eye brushes, all my favorite face brushes and what I use to contour or highlight things like that I will have it linked down below as well as on the end screen of this video so I'm just going ahead applying that on my face in sections like I've explained in the past this foundation does tend to dry a little fast so I just like to work kind of like half of my face at a time or like a cheek at a time and then do my forehead just to get the best blend out of this foundation also I was listening to the American Teen album by Khalid while I was doing my makeup definitely been a favorite of mine lately it is so good now I'll probably be talking about it more in my my March favorites video. So for concealer, I'm going in with my Maybelline Better Skin. I've actually talked about this combination a couple of times now where I go in with the Maybelline Better Skin first and then I'm going to be topping that off with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. I really love this combination as I was saying just because the colors really balance each other out and I feel like it also saves me a lot of product with the Tarte one. You really don't need much anyway because it is so full coverage but just a really good combination for me lately especially on a daily basis basis where I don't need a total full beat kind of coverage. And of course to set everything going in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and a little setting brush. I really like to focus this underneath my eyes and then you guys will also see me take a little bit on some other spots including my nose, around the sides of my nose like where my pores are right here as well as on like my chin, above my mouth, my eyelids. These are just places that I really like to just give a little bit of an extra set to to prevent it from creasing, going oily on me or breaking down and I'm also I uh, forgot to mention that I do just put concealer on my eyelids when I do my day-to-day -day makeup look instead of going out of my way to add an extra eye primer because, like I said in the beginning of this video, I like to keep my eyeshadow a little bit more minimal. And then, just with my big fluffy brush, going to be packing the powder onto the rest of my face. I 
I definitely still enjoy bronzing my face on an everyday basis, so I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, on my Wet n Wild Large Stipple Brush and just bronzing the perimeters of my face, my cheekbones. I don't typically contour on an everyday basis. When I'm doing a makeup look like this, I feel like the bronzing is definitely enough definition to my face and like the warmth, but I really do like to add a good amount of bronzer so it still shapes my face and gives me that color and warmth like I was saying. And shocker, I've totally been into blush lately, especially when I don't have a lot going on in my eyes. I like to add a little more color into my face, so I'm taking Amaretto from the Champagne Split by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. Literally going in with my same bronzer brush and just applying that back towards my contour marks, I guess, onto my cheeks. Now I'm going in with some highlighter, of course, still got to have that glow on a daily basis. This is the That Glow Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I kind of just take a mixture of all the colors, but mainly just the lightest shade in there which I believe is called sunburst or something like that I'm not really sure but it's just the lighter like super gold shade it is just so stunning this definitely just brings the whole look together and like I was saying earlier in this video I like to have that glow like dewy fresh face when I do a minimal makeup look like this moving on to my eyes I've been really liking the TARDIS Pro palette for a daily basis I've been using the shade innocent which is just like a mid-tone a little bit more of a warm brownie shade going in with my m433 by morphe and literally just fluffing that all over my eyelid into my crease super light super easy and super fast just to add a little bit of definition into my eyes I feel like adding mascara is really what ties this whole look together. If you guys want to use falsies, like totally, I wish I could wear falsies on a daily basis. I just don't have the patience for that, but I feel like it would definitely look super good with like this soft glam kind of look. I'm just going in and applying my mascara. I really like how my lashes pop when I have more of a blank lid, so I definitely try to take full advantage of that. For my um, brow bone, I'm going in with this lighter shade from the TARDIS Pro palette to just really highlight and lift that area. And I did want to mention that I did do my eyebrows off camera. I forgot to tell you guys that I just like to do them a little lighter than normal. Here I'm just showing you that I totally forgot to hit record when I was highlighting my inner corners, but I used Nylon by MAC. And last but not least, for my lips, I'm using the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Tres Leches. Really one of my favorite lip products. Perfect for every day. And that completes my everyday makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you hit that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.